Sonny, you can't remember things that you never knew. Yeah, well, how come I've been doing it? All right. I guess I've got to admit it to you. I brainwashed you. Bull hockey, you couldn't brainwash a bathtub. Oh, yes, I could. I made tapes, hours and hours of them, telling you everything that Mason liked, uh, uh, reading uh, newspaper clippings about him to you, uh, I read all your legal briefs to you, all that sort of stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I snuck in when you fell asleep, and, and I put a little earphone in your ear, and I plugged in the tape recorder and played it all night long for you. Tell you what, put it in your ear. Oh, really, I did. People can learn a lot at night. The president uses the same technique. The Japanese use it. I read that someplace. Now, what do they do? Start them off at nap time at age five and wake them up in time for the prom? You don't believe me? I'd like to hear them tapes. Well, sure, I'll get them for you. I'll, I'll play them for you. Where'd those scampy tapes get? Not now. I gotta get back over to Julia. Yeah, She's so gonna be worried. back but... from his sojourn in the heartland. Since when did you care? Maybe I learned how in my sleep. Learned how to do what in this sleep? Kelly, I want you to press down right here. Make sure you don't block the passage. Did you breathe in? Yes. Okay. How is the ambulance would get here? It would help if I knew what caused the damn injury. It looked like you walked in on a robbery or no, something. No, I mean, what caused the impact? I mean, a fall, a weapon? Seems like God has almost forgotten. I know. I know. I know. I don't believe. You know, I. I love you. Nobody has ever been so honored as I have. I haven't thought of anything. I mean, I haven't thought of names, or or baby furniture, or or my job, or you know whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. I mean, I, I, I haven't thought of I, I mean, What? Well, I, I just hope you've been doing what needs to be done. Nothing needs to be done. Well, there's regular doctor's appointments or something, right? Oh, it's too, too early for that. How, how early is it? How long have you known? Not very long. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted it to be perfect. I didn't want there to be any sadness. I didn't want anything to touch it. So you just found out for sure? No, I knew before. What does it matter? Well, it, it doesn't. I just, um... I mean, did the doctor give you a date? No, I didn't see the doctor. So what, you gave yourself the test? No, I, I didn't have to. I just knew. I'm more sure than any test could be. Mason Capwell was a charming young man. And he loved cheese and bologna sandwiches on white bread for lunch. Now, he used a lot of legal terms, a lot of big words, like, uh... Like, uh, verisimilitude. Like, verisimilitude. And... And pulchritude. And pulchritude. And fulminating. And fulminating. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of other very, uh, very bizarre words. Anyway, now he also had a great sense of humor. You know, I can remember this one time where... What are you doing? Don't you want to see what I brought you from St. Louis? Oh. It's inscribed. Right. Over 40 billion served. Oh, what is it? This is gold. This is gold. It's from, it's like this, it's like the Gateway Arch from St. Louis. Look at this. It says, to my dearest bride. Gretchen? Yeah, well, I mean, you got a deal on all. You just take out everything to the G, see? I remember this one time when Mason was sitting in the bathtub, fully clothed, drinking champagne, and across the room, he spies his pregnant... Keith, will you stop? This is not fit for a husband's ears. It is not for your ears, it's for Sonny's ears. And if I don't get these tapes made by the time he gets back, he's gonna figure out he's Mason Capwell. Then where will we be? Where are we now? 
This is our first se separation as hubby and wife. And it's been for two weeks. I walked through the door. I can't even get your attention. Well, that's very sweet of you to say so. But I mean, what's more important? You're getting my attention or are getting our hands on CeCe's millions? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me see how, how is this going to work, huh? So he's going to sit down, he's going to write us both checks, is that it? Something like that. No way. There's one thing about his two disgusting personalities. They both hate me, you see. So you know what? how I think it's going to work? You know what I think is going to happen? He's going to sit down with his millions and billions of dollars. He's going to settle down with that. And then he's going to want to settle down with you. Am I right? I'll go get her lunch. Okie doke. Now, you spit, cry, burp, or throw up, I'm gonna put ice cubes in your diaper. Here you go. Okie dokie. Oh, sorry, honey. Open the hangar. Here comes the airplane. Do you remember the first time we took her to a restaurant? Open the tunnel. Here comes the train. It's like a week before, we were sitting next to this little kid who was... Screaming. Open the barn. Here comes the horsey. Then he ran in and out of the kitchen and was throwing silverware at the waiters. Open the pen. Here comes the hog. You swore that you would never take any of your children to uh, a restaurant in public until they graduated from college. But she was a perfect angel, right? No, she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Yeah, I remember. And then they came over to complain, and then you brought up the First Amendment, freedom of speech, which includes freedom... Freedom of screech. Was Gina there at the time? Gina? What would Gina be doing there? I don't guess it was her who reminded me of it the other day. There wasn't anyone else there. We were alone. Just like we've been from the beginning, through milestones of Samantha's life. Since the day she was born. What, honey? I remember holding her up. Squinting at her like you were looking up at the sun. I remember. And that grin you had when you looked at her birthmark. Birthmark? I guess you haven't been changing her diapers enough. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Her birthmark. The same birthmark you have, the state of Florida, you know. Remember that, the state of Florida? You knew that there would be a sign of paternity, that I, you knew I didn't have Elvis's baby? I guess that's because I think of it as a beauty mark, not a birthmark. Oh. Well, that's better. Are we waiting for something? No, not really. Zach said he was going to go to the lab to find out the results, but we oh, have yeah. to wait. No, of course. I, I just forgot that. There's no reason for you to be worried. I'm not, baby. I'm, I'm okay. I know you're afraid to get your hopes up over nothing. What do you mean? It's just that sometimes it's a little hard for somebody other than maybe another woman to understand. You know, this is what they did before they had blood tests. They just knew. Eden, I'm not asking you to prove anything to me. I know. That's why I came here. I mean, you didn't twist my arm. Yeah, it's, you know. I, I just wish... Well, I guess I can understand why you didn't want to do it before. Well, I didn't do the blood test because I didn't think that they could tell anything. No, I meant the night. It doesn't matter. You mean the, the night that Zach wanted to do it when I was raped? That was your decision. I have no right to question it. I, I'm not. I'm sorry. No. I, I didn't want to do it because I was afraid of the result. Then why did you let me bring you here and put you through this? You didn't. It's different now. I was afraid that if he did the test that they were going to come back negative. But you see, it would have been wrong. Because I knew. And then that would have meant that I wasn't pregnant anymore, that I lost the baby. And I couldn't have handled that. But now I've 
everything's okay. And I feel all right. And I'm not afraid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Did you get the lab test back? Well, they think they can get the results later this afternoon if you can come back. Okay. But what? Is this some kind of problem? No, I... Well, I just can't help wishing that um, we had done this sooner. See, certain complications... There won't be any complications. Dr. Clark. How is he? What's happening? Uh, look, we, we got our hands full right now just trying to stabilize him so we can do a radiology workup. Until then, there's really nothing I can say. Look, I'm sorry. Just... We should know something pretty soon. Just sit tight, okay? Yes, sorry. I thought you couldn't work here anymore. What are they going to do, Michael? They don't have enough doctors in this hospital. Start throwing out skilled volunteers. Nurse Robert, contact me during the station. Nurse the last Robert. time we saw each other, we argued. Kelly, he came to the house in the middle of the night. He said he'd heard about Eden, but I wouldn't let him in. All I told him that all I wanted was a divorce. And he said that he had something that he wanted to prove to me, but I wouldn't listen. Look, I just told him to go away. This does not mean anything, okay? People argue. Or if it does, it doesn't mean everything. You and Jeffrey shared a lot more than an argument. He knows that. But I kept saying I wanted him out of my life, and it isn't true. I wanted a divorce, but I never once imagined him being gone. What if I don't get the chance to take that back? What if he dies thinking I hated him? You're crazy. I can't stand that, Sonny. He's he's crude, he's he's filthy, he's stinky, and he's all hands. Which, excuse me, are exactly the things that you like about me. He is nothing like you. He doesn't hold the candle to you. Who do you think is more despicable, Sonny or Cece? Well, that's easy. Cece wins hands down. But what's that got to do with anything? Because you married the moose not once but twice to get a hold of his liquid assets. You want me, you're trying to make me believe that you wouldn't try to accomplish the exact same thing with Mason because of your wifely virtues? Keith, we are not talking about Mason. Absolutely. What's up? There is no Sonny. It's a figment of his imagination. I, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not dumb. What you're going to do is you're going to pass him off as Mason. You're going to, like, plight his redneck trot, drag him to the altar, and they're going to knock him over the head each night till he wakes up as Mason, and your dream is going to be true, isn't it? Yeah, that's what most women would do. Not me. How many... Wait, hold... Wait! How many times... How many times did I ask you to marry me? Two or three. I don't know. Two or three hundred. And why? Because I thought you were slime. No, you gave me the same song and dance excuse every time. You told me it was because I couldn't provide for you and Brandon. Because what would your future be? And now I'm about to be dumped because of some rich moron who doesn't understand you, who doesn't know your nibble zones, who doesn't know how to play Toro, who would, uh, who would squeal like the prize porker he is if he ever tried to tie him up to a four-poster. I... I, I don't... I should... I should have known this. I knew it was going to happen one day, but I figured you'd be old and fat and ugly and no rich person would propose to you. I get, I, go ahead, do it, do it. Break my heart, I don't care. I don't even deserve to have one. Oh, You're so sweet sometimes. You are my dream come true. Don't you understand that? I mean, I don't care about the money. Maybe a little, but... but my dream was to find someone who was insane about me. And you're definitely insane, and you love me a lot. What more could I ask for? You mean that? Of course I do. All my zones are your zones alone. Calling for you. Uh, tell her I'll be right there. Okay. I think we have Jeffrey stabilized now. So he's going to be okay. Well, it's a start. We have him on the life support, but that can't last indefinitely. Well, what does the brain scan show? What exactly is wrong with him, Scott? Before we go any further, Kelly, I need to ask you something. How involved do you want to be? I don't think I understand the question, Scott. If, if I'm not involved, who is? 
This is very awkward for me, but this question has to be raised right now. It's my understanding that you and Jeffrey are in the process of getting a divorce. That's irrelevant. No, it's not. Think about it. Now, you may not want the responsibility of this right now. This could require surgery in that case. There could surgery be consent for what? Form. What kind of surgery? I've ordered an MRI to get a closer look at what's going on. But it appears that there have been some bone fragments from his skull that imploded upon his brain during impact. In which case, they have to be removed and then reconstructed. How delicate is that operation? Well, I'm no authority about this, but it certainly isn't the type of surgery that I can do myself. Then who will? I put a call into Dr. Arthur Donnelly, Michael's father. As surgeons go, he's the best. Now, this kind of decision may not be something that you want to take charge of. In which case, you just let me know that you'd like to defer to the next of kin, and then I'll give Mason a call. Well, that should probably be done anyway. Well? No, I'm his wife. If there are decisions to be made, I, I will make them. And I can't forget that just a few months ago, he was doing the same thing for me. Dr. Miller, Dr. Frank Miller. What are his chances in this operation, Scott? I'd say that Jeffrey's chances for survival are very high. Then why don't you sound more optimistic? You have to understand, Kelly, that with or without the surgery, there is still a chance of neurological impairment. Brain damage. Yes. Now, I think that we can save Jeffrey's life. But what that life will add up to, there's no telling. Well, we're not too early. He must be on his way. Yeah. Oh. Just wait till you tell your mother. Wait till I, I tell my parents. Yeah, well, you know, there'll be plenty of time for that later. I think we could save the big announcement for a little while. I mean, I just feel a little bit quiet about things in general. Aren't you? Sometimes I think that's the way people want me to be. What do you mean? People want you to be what? Embarrassed. Look. Hello. So I guess you have some good news for us, huh? Well, yes, um... But the uh, tests we ran can only give us so much information. But they can tell if I'm pregnant. Yes. You're pregnant. Great. That's great. So, everything's okay then? If you're asking whether the pregnancy appears normal, then yes, the answer is yes. Great. And um, if you're asking if there's any uterine damage, uh, because of the attack on Eden, then no, I don't see any sign of it. I knew God would let this happen, and I wasn't being selfish. I mean, that, that we would have this one thing. It wouldn't be touched. He wouldn't touch it. Eden, I would... I would feel guilty if I didn't tell you all the relevant facts. All right. Well, I don't think it's necessary to go into every detail in one appointment. Is it? Oh, a cruise is right. You no, know, the tests we have for pregnancy are very sensitive, and they're calibrated to detect even the slightest hormonal change. So you're saying you might not be pregnant? No, you're pregnant. It's, well, your HCG serum level is up very slightly, but unmistakably. But you see, it's very difficult for us to detect just how pregnant you are. I mean, we know it's very early and that you're also not that late for your menstrual period. It, it could be weeks, maybe less. See, I just wish we had done this sooner because there's... Well, as it stands, there's a chance that the man who raped you might be the father of your child. No, this, this was before. No, I, I, I know. I, I know. Use your instincts. I, I'm just saying scientific... Shut up! Wait, 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 wait. Shut up! He hasn't known okay, okay, okay. We appreciate your thoroughness, Doctor, but it's not necessary. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. But we know what we know. And it's more than any test can tell. This baby is ours. Santa Barbara will continue in a special half-hour edition all this week, only on NBC. Emotional, 
physical Higher, swifter, trauma. stronger. Olympians will strive to follow that motto. I'm Bryant Gumbel. Tonight, the title of the world's fastest human is on the line in the men's 100 meters, plus the women's heptathlon and the men's individual gymnastics final. Thank you.